It's Blim Celine and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be sharing with you guys how I am starting spring cleaning. I hope this gives you some motivation so that you also get going and start cleaning and it could feel a little bit overwhelming when it comes to trying to declutter and just clean things, especially if you have young children. I have little Benji with me and it's just me and him. So I'm trying to do all of this while taking care of him in between his naps, but it's just me taking care of him throughout the days. So this is going to take me about a week. So you guys will see me every day trying to do something little and that's what I like to do. I like to break down my goals of what I like to do in different days so I don't feel overwhelmed with too many things because I am taking care of him. Um, Ricardo does work. He works from home, but he works downstairs. And then three days or two days out of the week, he works at the office. So I'm with my sweet little baby all day and I'm the only one taking care of him. So this is how I try and get things done. So hopefully this motivates you guys if you are trying to get some things done. And I try to have fun with him. He loves doing laundry with me. Benjamin just got in the habit of like playing with the basket. As you can see, he likes to like bring it back and forth. Usually when I do things around the house, like I'll lay down a blanket and then I'll lay him on his tummy and he can go ahead and play with his toys or roll over. But he just loves playing with the basket when I do laundry. Like he gets really, really excited. So I'm just finishing up here and I try to let him be independent as much as possible so he can explore. Um, so if he's like interested in one thing like opening and closing certain things, I let him do it for a little bit and then I continue to like get things done. But usually I just like let him play um, independently. And I'm so excited because today's video is a collaboration with one of my good friends, Brianna from Bits of Brie, and she just moved from Ohio to Hawaii to paradise, so I love watching her videos. I just feel so relaxed, and I get to live vicariously through her. She has three small children, and one of them is, I believe, two months younger than Benji, so I love watching her. I feel like I could totally relate with her on so many different things, and she has the most amazing organization tips. So she's also doing some spring cleaning, so make sure to head on over to her channel and subscribe and let her know that I sent you. When it comes to doing laundry and dishes, it's like a never endless task. I feel like that's something that we have to keep up with all the time. And it's nice because Ricardo does clean the kitchen, I would say like 70% of the time. And I try to keep up with laundry. So we each have like our own thing that we do. I just got done nursing Benji and he has a full stomach. So I like to keep him up for at least like 10 to 15 minutes just so that way his food goes down. Because when I put him on the floor, to play either on his tummy or sitting down he presses on his stomach and he spits up or if I put him on the jumper sometimes he bounces and gets too excited and he spits up so it's just nice to like have him propped up and I love to wear him he's just so cute he stares at me all the time and talks to me and it's just the cutest thing ever so now I went ahead and I put him down to play while I finish up the kitchen I should show you guys what play mat he's on because I found it on Amazon and it's just like this one big rectangular like foam mat and it doesn't look like too loud or too busy like it's really perfect it looks like an area rug and it's big enough for him to play around but it's not too big to the point where it's not going to fit like in your living room or in your room and you can easily watch them and you don't have to worry about them like tipping over and like hurting themselves because it is a pretty thick foam and we have hardwood floors where if he like rolled over or like fell from his side sitting up like it would hurt him but he like really really enjoys it and I always leave him like close and I put it like in each room depending on where I'm at but it's been extremely helpful.
Something that we do try to keep up with always is our mail just because it can get overwhelming with how much mail comes in. Like I'm surprised that even nowadays that we have emails and just documents that could easily be sent electronically, like everything is still like in paper. So um, we try to keep up with it and recycle what we can, but just a pile of mail drives me nuts. So I always make sure to go through it. And if things need to be sorted out, like, things need immediate attention I'll put it in our office and I'll put it like on top of my keyboard that way I know that we have to like pay a bill or anything like that and then everything else like I go ahead and I sort it out in our filing cabinet <laughs> is decorated my coffee bar and I haven't had a chance to go to the store and like pick out some really cute decorations for the next season and I don't really know what to do next because I did it for Valentine's Day which I already took down but now I'm like what do I do next like do I do Easter like that would be super cute but I want to wait until all the cute stuff is out at Target or just like at home goods so more things come out so that I can go ahead and decorate it if you guys decorate your coffee bar what are you doing decorating it as is it just like neutral for the rest of the year until like more holidays come up or do you guys like do it by each season um, depending on the holidays like let me know I'd love to know and where you find your decor pieces <laughs> This next room is so embarrassing to show you guys but let's be realistic here we all have that one room where we stuff everything inside and we close the door <laughs> especially when guests come over the reason why this accumulated so much is because I get so many PR packages or just things that are seasonal that I just put in here or just a bunch of random things so I didn't know where to start and I feel so overwhelmed but I was like you know what I'm doing some spring cleaning like I need to either like use some of these items or I need to donate them or give them away so I'm just making different piles I always like to give back to you guys and give you guys products that I'm not using or that I have doubles of and then I like to make piles for like my family and friends of things that I can give them that I know they've been looking for so I just go ahead and make those piles but the majority of these RPR packages are just things that I never really got into and then there's like pile of clothes that I'm like okay this doesn't fit or I'm gonna donate this or whatever the reason is that I just have a pile on the floor but I really needed to clean this room and I'm glad that I finally was like you know what I'm just gonna sit down and do this like it's not gonna go away on its own If you guys have a big pile of things that are so random that you don't know what to do with them or like how to organize them, I highly recommend to just start putting them in piles. Make it as simple as possible. You could do like a pile of things that I know that I want but not to but don't know what to do with, a pile like to donate um, or just categorize them in like different ways like this is makeup or these are clothes, these are clean, these are dirty so that way it's easier to tackle each pile instead of like doing it all at once because this as you can tell took me two days to get through and it was it was quite hard so I just have like this big bag of you know like things that I don't want and then I'll go ahead and put it there and then I'll put things that need to be recycled um, if I don't know what to do I'll pick it up and I'll put it in like a pile of things that I don't know where to place yet 
Um, so I have like some decor pieces that I don't know where to put exactly yet, but I know I want them. So then I'll just put them in that pile. And then once everything is nice and clean, then I get a little bit more inspiration of like what I can do with those things. And at that moment, I just don't know, especially when it comes to like decor pieces. Um, so yeah. If you don't know what to do, pick up another thing and keep going because sometimes I feel so overwhelmed with things that I'm like, I don't know what to do with it. Um, but it's just so much easier when things are categorized in different piles. Now that the floor is clean, I forgot to show you guys a shot of that, but it made a huge difference. I am going to go ahead and put away all these clothes that were just kind of sitting there clean and I didn't have a chance to put up because I like to color categorize everything um, and then I went through my closet and that took me like another like day so I didn't even finish that I didn't get a chance to film that but as you can tell like it's just really hard to stuff everything in here I have this tiny little closet that I condensed um, all my clothes into and eventually I want to get like the IKEA pack system in order to like be able to see all my clothes and be able to like use everything in my closet because I need to go through the clothes again just because I was using maternity clothes for the longest time and then trans transitioning back into my clothes was just different so I didn't know what I was going to keep and what I wasn't now usually I have a whole video dedicated to me organizing my makeup but I don't have that kind of time anymore so what I do now is if I'm not using it I will just get rid of it like right there on the spot so that's what I'm doing now I'm going through all of my makeup to see like if I've used it then I put it away if I haven't I just throw it away I'm like I'm not even gonna sit there and try to keep things that are not useful because we just don't have time for that. I'd rather spend my precious time with my sweet little baby. I don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights, yeah. to sort out all the lies. Oh, baby, yeah. I don't know. There was a part of me that knew that, and still I'm caught by surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down. Yeah. Baby, going down. Getting this room clean was one of the biggest reliefs I felt in a long time. I feel like the majority of our house is nice and clean because I do like to do major declutters like this at least once every season. That way we don't have things that we don't need. I try to keep up with like the Kanmari style. Not all the way, but at least the majority of the time and so we don't have too many things in the house where I feel like it feels cluttered but this room was just driving me insane and I'm so glad that I finally got it done and you will too if you have that one room that you just need to tackle like whether it's like your garage or basement like or that secret storage room that you have just get through it and I promise you'll feel so much better the next room that I'm tackling is Benji's room and these are all of his little baby clothes when he was a newborn. After I filmed this, I sat back and I started crying just thinking of how fast time goes and I feel like he was just wearing all of these even though he's six months now and I was putting away his clothes from zero to three months. Like it just broke my heart that just time goes by in the blink of an eye how has it been six months already like it's insane so I just went ahead and I started like organizing his items in different bins and I used several different ones so I had a bin for like his keepsakes like things that I know that I'm never going to give away like things that are super sentimental um, to me whether it's like something that has like his name on it or a very special gift from someone um, that like had meaning behind it um, or it could be like seasonal things like Christmas things or just like the very first outfit that I you know got for him when we found out we were having him just like little things like that that I know I will never ever get rid of I put to the side and I try to make it as minimal as possible because at first I was filling it up and I was like no 
like I need to make it special. And the way that I like to organize things is that I keep these baskets on top of his closet and if it doesn't fit him anymore, I'll just toss it in one of those. So that way, the clothes that he is wearing, I'll keep on the bottom so that I don't keep going back and forth trying to fit him in things that he does and doesn't wear. Just because when he was first born, he stayed in like one size for a while and then he would go through like a major growth spurt and like skip a whole size. So I feel like that's why I have so many clothes because I was like, okay, like he fits in this clothes, I'm going to get him this and then he would just like grow out of them from day to night. So it was hard to like find out what exactly would fit him and then also different brands of clothes are bigger than others and then sometimes things shrink so I feel like he had way too many clothes but we did make a good use out of all of them. I don't regret buying anything for him. Even though we don't go out much, I still have so much fun dressing him and like taking his pictures and just like enjoying his outfits for myself. And I like to take every opportunity just to like, just really enjoy him. Like even though, like I said, we don't go anywhere, it's still really fun to dress him up. I tried to categorize them as best as I could so that way I could be really organized with things because I don't know if I am going to donate these or hold on to them. It just depends. So I like to organize things by like the age that he is. So these are all zero to three months and then in there was also like three to six months. So I went ahead and I organized things and sorted them out based on the size so that way I don't get... Um, I don't get confused. Sorry, I was just thinking about that little onesie that I was holding. Um, and that was the very first onesie that I bought, like, as soon as we found out we were having a boy and Ricardo and I went shopping and oh, like those little things hold so much sentimental value. Like it just reminds me of when I was still pregnant with him. I make these labels on my computer and I make all different kinds, especially for like home decor, storage, like anything like that, especially Christmas decor. I always make these so that way I know exactly what I'm looking at and I always make sure to get clear bins. That is like my number one tip when it comes to storing anything, whether it's like in your basement or in the garage or anywhere, like get clear storage bins so you know exactly what's inside and you don't have to open them up to see what's in there. So I like to make these and I just made like different sizes because I wasn't sure um, what size I wanted since I had different size bins, but I made several different ones. I also made one for like baby gear when he was a newborn so I could also store that and just other stuff that I plan to store that he's not using anymore so that way it frees up more space in our home and it just doesn't feel super cluttered with things because when they're newborn, you go through so many different items and as I get older you use like less and less things um, like the bobby pillow or like a nursing pillow or like a little lounger or anything like that you can put those away and then eventually you'll start getting more things like um, their toys and their bouncer and so you don't want too many things to take up space in your home so that's why I think right now is a good time to like transition things so the house doesn't get cluttered with too many things. Now that I tackled all those rooms, <laughs> now it's time to clean the floors. Earlier in the day, I did go ahead and I made sure to vacuum with the Dyson vacuum and I also vacuumed our carpets, but I didn't get a chance to film that. I did it while Benji was sleeping and so now I'm gonna go ahead and mop the floors. And this mop system is pretty amazing. Benji's over there in his bouncer, by the way. That's why I'm like <laughs> looking at him, but this mop system is really awesome I found it on Amazon I was trying to look for something that's going to be super easy for me to do because mopping 
in general. It's just such a big chore in our house because it's a lot of square footage that I do have to cover and it's two floors. So I remember when I bought this house, Ricardo was like, how are we going to keep up with all this maintenance like when it comes to cleaning? And I was like, oh, don't worry, I got this. But now, fast forward to us actually living here, I'm like, holy cow, this is a lot of floor to cover. So I needed to get like a mop that I could easily rinse out and that it wasn't going to be super annoying because mopping is just, of course, super annoying to do. But with this mop system it's actually really fun like i actually do enjoy mopping like it's therapeutic and it's just so much easier because as you can tell you can also like turn it over so you can clean your baseboards at the same time and it just makes things super super convenient and it's actually quite fun to like get it clean and rinse it out like i don't know i'm weird i guess that's like the adult boring life <laughs> that little things like this get you excited and it does a really good job of cleaning our floors because it also comes I think with like eight mop heads and you could just toss them in the washer and in your dryer and you don't have to worry about like it being like stinky or I don't know I just felt like the old mop systems that were available would always just smell because they wouldn't get dry all the way or it was really hard to clean them because they were like literally attached to the um what is it the handle um but this just makes it so much easier so i do recommend it i will have it linked down below along with like anything else that i use that you guys are interested in. or if you guys want something specific leave it in the comments down below and i'll make sure to have them linked but yes I love this thing and as you could tell it did take me all week to do and that's totally fine I think if you have like I said little kids or if you have children like be easy on yourself try to do one thing at a time or one thing one major task a day and don't leave it all for like just one day if you could do it all one day you know props to you that's awesome I'm glad that you could do that but I try not to stress myself out but that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this gave you some motivation to get things done to make sure that you have a nice, beautiful, clutter-free house in the spring before summer because I feel like summertime, we don't want to spend it inside cleaning. We want to have some fun outdoors um, now that there's not much places that you can go during the winter time. So hopefully in the summertime, things get better and we could be outdoors more and you don't have to worry about messes in your house. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will talk to you guys next time. Which is Vistos. Mwah! Now all the nights seem so overrated What was it worth? I can't take back, I can't stop feeling How about you?